Hello there everyone, welcome back. I managed to get my first real match in with Deadlock, and unfortunately it was a bit of a stomp, wasn't it? Mostly due to not knowing what the hell I was doing, because the very first opening play, the Dumbfire Torpedoes, I could have very easily been, very easily been prepared for dodging, because as I said, they are Dumbfire Torpedoes, they can be avoided, hell I even proved it, even at like, a much closer distance that I dodged with my Minotaur of all things by doing a hard turn at the right time so there is still much to learn but it's, as a result I did learn a whole a great deal here like most importantly my Minotaur most of its main weaponry is actually on top of the ship which may be why I had such difficulty focus firing the one uh, adamant I was shooting at there because most of their weaponry you couldn't actually see it or let alone shoot at it so there's a lot I'm going to have to work on, especially maybe considering having the Minotaur down the bottom. A little more lower at least, so that way it's not not as susceptible to getting hit in its blind spot. Although, it, if I do it that way, it leaves it with little room to maneuver, because I believe this would be considered the floor where this grid is at. And I can't go any lower than that, so we'll see if I can improve my game or not. Alright, we got ourselves a match, and... From what I can tell, this is the only absolute thing I can say for certain we're fighting someone who's the same level as me. It's entirely possible it could be a smurf, but he would have to buy the game again to do that, so... Chances are likely it's... I have good odds this time around. If nothing else, I like to think so, but... That's only... that only helps with my positivity. I still gotta execute somehow. So, without further ado, let's get started and see if there's actually some fruit to this composition or not or rather or if just going all adamant like the last person I fought against was probably the right way to go or not we will see I did set up the server again there it was like two minutes of delay per setting up the orders so it's pretty much the same layout as before I could change it slight bit basically either 4,000 or 8,000 points so nothing's really changed otherwise I'm going to have to see on the weekend how things work, but I'm going to start with my turn maneuvers now to kind of prepare for maybe those dumbfire torpedoes. Because all I have to really do is go up or down, and actually I should try and lower myself a tiny bit. It'll help at least with the Minotaur with its ability to keep its top weapons engaged. Because I'll try and zoom in so you can at least get a better idea what the layout is. And also, did I see a collision course? Yeah, there's a collision course. It seems like there's a bit of a delay, and I'm realizing it's probably actually the latency. Yep. So, when my uh, Manticore rammed into my Minotaur in my first video, apparently, it was because of the latency. I thought it was some other weird glitch. So, everything looks good. We're going to see what he's feeling. Actually, I should rotate. So, four ships, so this tells me a lot of heavy hitters, so... He could very easily have like 800 point ships, so I did not, well it doesn't actually tell me if he has a Cylon ships or not, so he's probably got a lot of firepower, but these Manticores are all about flanking potential, and hell, I forgot to also do my fighters. Yes, I'm probably going to leave him a little more defensive this time, unless I know for a fact he doesn't have many fighters, which I'm not seeing him launching, so that could mean I'm in the clear. We will see. Although it's only got me, gives me like maybe two sizes there for contacts. There's these ones I'm seeing right now, and then there's smaller ones for like fighters themselves. So, need to be careful there. And it looks like he's turning towards the Manticore, so everything turn around. We'll try and play with him a bit, because these Manticores got really good mobility. Hell, they can turn themselves around in an instant, so I'm not too worried about them being at way out. Hell, I can boost if I want them to just immediately catch up with the rest of my fleet. It's just still a question of how I want to position myself due to my lack of experience though. Because these manticores are supposed to make them uncomfortable, if nothing else. Because if they can get some shots off, they have really powerful auto cannons on the front of these ships, so they can easily make up for it with a single turn of fire if they can get close enough. And we're looking at a ranger. I think that's the ranger. Assume it's a colonial fleet. 
because I'm seeing two contacts come out as two fighter contacts rather so that's what that tells me there ranger and that's easily like a thousand points right there assuming it's a colonial fleet it yes, could sir. be Cylon in which case I am have very little idea about the Cylons aside for yes, most of their ships are cheaper than mine at least they have nothing that's as expensive as a battle star at least so we can't go super ridiculous even the base stars are like just a tiny bit more expensive than the Ranger which is that carrier ship assuming that's the Ranger because that's like 1050 points and a battle star is maybe 1200 hard to really say and I got no contacts yet and he already retracted the fighters so he may, he may have accidentally clicked them out I saw him regardless and now, I want to try and bait him. I would love nothing more than to bait him. So let's get a scout going, shall we? On it, Commander. And also raise your altitude a tiny bit. Yes, Commander. And just so I know you can at least get some Understood. shots off with all your arcs. Because ideally, at least with the Mentor, I want to be able to shoot with two of its weapon arcs. Which would ideally be the top with the artillery cannons. And all these six side guns, because really, if you look closely, it's hard to really say, because this camera angle is not the best. There's actually very little, if any, bottom guns on there. Just two art artillery cans for the front. And okay, it is a colonial fleet. So we have successfully deduced that that carrier ship is probably a manticore, unless it's a battle star that can carry two fire ships. So I don't know if it's like the super expensive one or not, but I need to be careful. Yes, Commander. Because those battle stars are very potent. They're very damn expensive. Like the cheap, was it Artemis? Uh, I forget the battle stars' names. I know one's like the Artemis anyway. One is like sixteen hundred fifty points, and the other one's a whopping two thousand two hundred. So it is possible he could have the really expensive Understood. one. But we do have contact. I almost want to just start unloading missiles because I have that convenience actually. Soften them up Execute and force them back. Actually, yeah, let me fire with both these. Oh, these are torpedoes, aren't they? Yeah. So one of the animates are going to fire the missiles. I'm just really paranoid about hitting myself, though. That's what I'm scared about, so i got to watch where those missiles come from, flying out. And that will force evasive maneuvers, maybe for him to do something about... Uh, what is it? Firing flak? Well, not flak, but any kind of like chaff he may have. Kind of like the sweeper. That will force his hand a little bit if he doesn't want to take that damage. On it, Commander. And if nothing else, these manticores can provide a, a decent amount of a scout. Because I don't think he's revealed the Minotaur just yet. And there's not much he can do about it. Because he can't, if he has guided missiles, he can't launch them at me until there he reveals me. Which is kind of why I was thrown off a little bit by the Dumbfire Torpedo of the last video. Because I didn't expect him to be able to shoot at me blind like that. Which, in all honesty, it does make sense considering they are dumb fire torpedoes. Where I'm right now, I'm just shooting guide torpedoes to try and soften them up and, if possible, get a, a kill off them. Try and force his hand, because that took out his left armor almost right away. He can easily turn to negate that, mind you, but it puts pressure on him, and I'm not using too many torpedoes. I got like basically five shots out of each of my torpedo salvos or missile salvos. Even the torpedoes here fire them ten at a time, so I can lightly chip them down and look for what was it targets of opportunity. Quite frankly, and hell, this manticore can reveal that one way over there. So say we all. That's what I would like right now. So I think these manticores are just relegated to spotting right now. Understood. So time to do a hard turn. Maybe I can get a good sensor net here in a moment. Because this Manticore is probably going to take a bit of a hit. Okay, he does have a Minotaur. The Manticore is going to take a lot of hits there, so he needs defense relatively quick. And he does have Vipers. They're both Mark 1, so... I want to say he's going after the Manticore, so... Oops, that was not what I wanted. Oh, actually, it is what I wanted. I want to defend the Manticore. I will have to learn the hotkeys to make this a little more quicker and simple. So, Manticore, you're going to turn. You're going to just get yourself a turn around, have the rest of the fleet protect you, and we got good vision here. 
an Artemis, so that's the low. I'm pretty certain that's the weaker battle star, and he's got an Atlas as well. That's the carrier ship. On Commander. I thought it was a Ranger, but actually the Ranger is technically the missile cruiser. So I got my work cut out for me. So now begs the question, do I fire torpedoes at the, the Minotaur here, or do I continue to hit this Manticore? Because actually, let me check the range of my uh, thing. Because he's uh, not quite a weapon arc yet, so I still have a turn. So let me unload missiles. Actually, I can wait till next turn because it seems like my missiles are going to come back up then. And now, this will continue to fire at the Manticore. Soften up some more. Take evasive maneuvers because he is shooting hard at me now. And I do have fighters, and he is firing giant missiles at me, so... Vipers will... Oh, he's firing at the Minotaur, though, so that's not too bad. Do I have a way to protect that? Not really. But I can deal with his fighters easily enough. All the while, hopefully getting some nice rear shots here on... this. Is that the Minotaur? Yeah, that's the Minotaur there. I would like to soften that up. Maybe get a few free shots off before I turn... Dis turn and disengage. I don't think it. I had quite the range to do it, but I would like that. Also, Minotaur, I think I can have you turn around next turn. Actually, I'll have you start turning around now, so if those torpedoes hit your right side, then at least so say we all. you're shielded from your other's arc. That's the idea anyway. Turn them all around. Keep firing at this Manticore. I don't know how probable how ideal it is, but it is a missile ship still, so it is worth killing, especially You're since still. I'm already doing damage to it. So say we now, are. it took a light damage on the rear and the front. I'm looking at the bars there. Missiles incoming. So yeah, missiles on the right side. I'm already doing a hard turn, and I'm still hitting its left, and the missiles are also going to get through its hull. So this looks promising. Uh, sadly, the missiles are hitting the rear, so... I'm not going to yes, get any sir. permit damage, so or not any hull damage, which is a bit unfortunate, which saddens me a bit. But, Onic, we got a nice juicy target on this Manticore. I just got to make sure it's altitude, because I would like this one Manticore to shoot as well. Get your elevation up a little bit, yes, Commander. so that way you can keep hitting that thing while his other ships are running away. And if I can get these torpedoes to shoot, that'd be amazing. Because I'm turning around. The, Min the Minotaur is not at any real risk. And its rear's also gone. It's taken a massive beating. Hell, it might even die if any more of those artillery hit. So, Manticores, I think, are going to clean up. I think that's what I want to do and start moving forward to harass the rest of the fleet because it is only a manticore is the cheapest ship he has in his fleet so this is not all as exciting as it sounds also i did destroy his fighters so it's time to repair his fleet or these fighters i'm not exactly sure how it works mind you but how oh wow both my fighters are gone wow how many fighters did he actually launch at me because i with two fighters and him right next to my adamants and all that Oh, he had three of them. Okay, I thought it was in better shape than it was. Even with the additional support my adamant cannons. Maybe I'm completely wrong there in that regard. So, those fighters could probably just murder me due to my lack of rear weaponry. Which I kind of need to pull these manticores back. Because there's one health left on that thing. Actually, let me just fire to the final salvo to make sure it dies. And that way... I'm allowed to turn around and provide some support, some fighter defense. So yes, Commander. Because the wa reason why I want these Manticores to pull back is because they actually have rear mounted weaponry and the rapid fire turrets. They're basically the same thing you've been seeing so far with the Adamants and the broadside weaponry, the Minotaur. It's the exact same guns, it's only like maybe two or three of them, as opposed to the four and six that the Minotaur and Adamants have. So they can be useful if those Vipers continue to chase me. 
Just gotta be careful of these missiles. It's only a single salvo of missiles, mind you. But I do want to be mindful where the damage is going. Being able to manage this armor is really damn important, I think. It's safe to say. But all my fires are gone. We are hitting them. I should have ch changed to a more aggressive posture to increase my accuracy. Yeah, the left arm is taking hits. The right took a big beam before, and that's probably from his own fighters, honestly. And I want to keep hitting this Minotaur because its rear is already pummeled. So, I think what I do is just try and finish off these fighters best I can. Going to be hard to do, quite frankly, until my Minotaurs start shooting at them. But... I'm going to increase the attack radius, which is what this posture stat is. It's going to trade off my defenses for better accuracy and better attack. Hell, I can even show you in a moment. Did I kill the Minotaur? Did I kill the Manticore? I think I did. Because I'm seeing missiles flying out in the middle of nowhere, so I think that's what that tells me. So, yes, Commander. I think we're good here. I just want to make sure, yeah, both their attack postures are set. And let's try and do some damage here. Because these Vipers, he can't really control how they fly. Only that he can either attack me, return, or move somewhere else. So he's already turning them around, so that's fine. I may not hit the rear, but it will soften up the, Mantic, the Minotaur for me really well for yes, sir. the engagement to come. Especially since it turns out he does not have a Ranger or any more Missile yes, Cruisers. It's just the Battlestar itself. So the left side still has plenty of armor. Oh wait, that's his... I gotta check. What's the... Okay, 59 armor. So I, I'm good for another tor torpedo salvo. And actually, boost your thrusters with these manticores. That's what I'm gonna do. Actually, change this camera angle. You're going to hunt down these damn things. And I kind of want to fire torpedoes at the minotaur. If it's gonna turn towards me further. It's a bit risky, considering he's already facing his side, but I feel like he's going to turn into him. That's the hope, anyway. It remains to be seen, though. Oh, and I didn't get full value out of my uh, boost, either, so... Let's see. And since I am boosting, I'm only firing, like, five torpedoes, but... Ooh, it paid off, though. It definitely paid off. I think that's because of my boost. It reduced my damage potential, but hey... I have more torpedo salvos, so for such a risky play, that's a good that's a good way to preserve my ammunition at least, if nothing else. So I like that. In that respect, Understood. I just gotta be careful of this damn refinery here. It's kind of actually gonna be blocking my way in the next few turns, so I need to turn away from that. Especially since he's bringing his ships down lower, and I need to do the same with my Minotaur for the optimal firepower. So, Manticores, turn off your boosters, maximize your firepower, and hunt down these Vipers. Yes, sir. Kill as many of them as you can, because if I lose this, yes, sir. assuming I'm actually in a good winning position in general, I'm probably going to lose yes, because sir. of these Vipers, due to my inability to properly kill them off. So that's my game plan. Also, missiles. I have more missiles to fire on... The Minotaur, that's my priority here. Now, gotta watch the health on my Minotaur because I may have to start using my adamants to shield, especially now his fight fighters. Hey, my decide where he's gonna engage. So, and there's what I'm talking about refineries getting exceptionally close. My ar left and right armor is technically the same, so I'm kind of okay here. I just gotta start yes, taking sir. this turn very seriously now. So, lower down, avoid a collision course. Viper squadrons are down to two squads now, so. More fire on the Missile Minotaur. On and let's see. Just get more defensive posture, because I think you're going to be the focus next. And actually, we'll turn yes, this sir. Manticore around, because I expect him to do an attack run now. So if this thing can get him in a, a very awkward position by being in his front where his firepower is limited, this might be good for the next turn or two. We'll see. 
I like to try and finish off these Vipers because, yeah, there's still a good number of them. And his left side's about gone, so I can start dealing damage to his hull. I just gotta be mindful that this could be a mistake because his Vipers can harass my Manticore. And you're actually gonna boost forward because hopefully that'll make you harder to hit as I start moving. Also, yes, Commander. we got. Missiles to unload. I like to continue the idea of softening up his main gunship. Because mine's already taken a bit of a beating, especially on the rear now. So I kind of need to change my posture to a more defensive one, maybe. It'll give it better armor, a little more defense resistance, or defensive resistance, so... I have to act quickly, though. If I want to get on his front. So... Get on in there, hopefully he can do the damage he need to. And his left side is gone, so any Minotaur hit shots I do is going to be good. Yeah, and the rear has gone this damn thing, so those Vipers need to go. And the boost paid off because a lot of his fire was coming at my sh uh, Manticore there, so. But with that said, the one left Manticore can't really engage very well, but... Got a nice torpedo salvo to do here. So, I think what I'm going to do is turn this hard around. Actually, I still got plenty of armor for another turn or two. Actually, I am going to take missiles, so turn this hard. Turn this hard around. Yes, Commander. And hope it can take the hits. That's what I would like. But those Vipers are slowly wearing me down. Now Manticore. You're going to try and punish him. You're going to take a lot of damage. Actually, I want you to go after that Atlas. Although, it doesn't really have much firepower to warrant it. Because yes, once those Vipers are gone. And you can fire missiles next turn. So okay, just keep on going. Go full boost. Dodge his weaponry. Yes, and this one Manticore hopefully can start getting shots off. Oh, and I forgot my torpedoes. Unload. Let's do this. Minotaur is taking damage. Yep, I'm doing a hard turn. That'll help alleviate that some. Ooh, perfect. Got a lot of hits on its rear. I'm turning. This is looking good. I just have one Manticore out in the middle of nowhere. Which is vulnerable to getting hit by the... By the battle star to Artemis. But those torpedoes paid off nicely. Now, focus fire, which is focus fire in the Minotaur. Continue finishing off your turn. And let's see. I took light damage to my navigation, so that's reducing my speed yes, some, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I want to kill this Minotaur. Ideally. So do I have any more missiles? I do have guide missiles here, so... And this rear is gone of this Minotaur, but... It might die before then. Oh, it has full armor on the right. Never mind. Minotaur is it's worth damage. doing. So, front armor is almost gone. This thing's ta Ooh, it's taking a massive beating. Look at that thing die. Maybe the, using the missiles was a bad idea. But my navigation, my hull, my armor is really messed up. Full defensive posture. Full defensive posture. Get this thing shielded. It's going to suck trying to do damage though at the same time. But so say we all. helps if I can somehow do that without ramming. Also, Manticore can kind of get in the way. It's not going to be very effective, though. Yes, sir. All right, let's try. Yes, He's focusing down my Minotaur, so I need to make sure his dies. That's what I need to do. Kills Minotaur. Kill the damn Minotaur. Oh, wait, I'm targeting the... Oh, that was the wrong thing. There we go. Kill the Minotaur. So say we all. And you start unloading on the Artemis. 
And now uh, where's my other manticore? Right here. It's front's already gone, so you know what that means. This thing's already dead. I shouldn't need to fire missiles, so not on it anyway, so fire missiles more at the Artemis. Actually, ignore it altogether, just fire on the Artemis once you're in range. We're gonna hit from both sides. We're gonna try and get this engagement right. There, that thing's dead. My Minotaur, unfortunately, is gone. He's firing flak, so... Still anyone's game here. So... He did stop my missiles, I think. No, I fired missiles last turn, so... Just gotta be mindful. I don't know if that flak can actually damage me or not very well. So I need to be careful of that. And I think I can ignore this Atlas because it is a mainly a carrier ship. So I want to try and ignore that for that reason. Because most of its firepower is in the fight Vipers, which are heavily damaged, I'm hoping, at this point. Now, I want to fire missiles, but he does have the flak. So I need to try do things a little differently here. Try and spread out so that way it's difficult for him to judge where to flak. Get him surrounded, because flak actually will destroy fighters and missiles for him. If he, he just has to pick what arc, though. That's the only main thing. And right now he turned it off completely, I guess, so. So far, reader's gone. Reader's getting pounded. So, so far, so good. I like this a lot. And now we're in his blind spot, folks. We are in his blind spot. Ooh, and this is going to hurt. Gotta watch my vision, because I may hit myself in a moment. If I do this wrong. Yeah, I may... I gotta hold off on the tor torpedoes. I think I'm gonna hit myself if I do this. If I do this poorly. So... Adamant, you're going to continue moving. Your front is heavily hammered, though, from all that firepower. This one is going to have its missiles next turn. And then you'll get ready for a turn next turn. So this looks promising. Make sure everything that can focus is firepower should. And this Adamant should be safe, so it should be able to unload as well. It does have missiles, so... Oh, I did already fire its missiles. I'm holding off on torpedoes, that's what it is. Adamant is taking damage. Okay. Adamant's lost taking damage there. Its rear's almost gone, but that Artemis is going fast. No questions asked. Although, he is probably gonna flak this time Missile this turn, threat. so I gotta be careful. Actually, this is a hit and run ship. Let's focus on moving the hell out. And then getting turned ready for a turnaround. While hopefully not hitting his Atlas at the same time. Because we got him nicely surrounded. So he, he may be getting a lot of firepower off me. But he can't predict where to use his flak. That's the main point here. Especially when I can kill it right now. Well. I think it's safe to say that's game. Major improvement from the last one, thankfully. But, it'll be interesting to see what I can improve on. So say we all. I just gotta get my heading all set up. So I can get the focus fire need. And those vipers are still around being a nuisance as well, so I gotta be careful of that. It's not over yet. So, what do we have left for missiles? Guide missiles there. Might as well start softening up its uh, armor much, as much as I can. Last salvo of guide missiles. And I have 23 more torpedoes left to do. Now this adamant needs to survive, so turn your armor and hopefully not take the damage. Hopefully avoid getting killed. If I can just leave casualties to just the uh, minotaur, I am happy. And also, you need to lower yourself down. I wasn't realized of the height difference there. 
and now Minotaurs, Manticores rather, yes, Commander. you know what to do. You know exactly what to do. His damage is going to be spread out some, but it's still going to hurt regardless. Especially when he doesn't have the firepower Allies anymore. And it sadly has a pitiful amount of missiles being shot. Admin, hang in there, buddy. You're taking a... Oh my. Even with my side to you, you're taking a lot of damage. What happened to my left and... Left and... Right armor, quite frankly. Because I'm getting murdered here. Alright, let's turn defensive and hope this works out well or not. Because he's fo clearly yes, focusing on my Understood. adamant. So, if I can punish that, so we we're are. good. Because this thing still has a lot of armor to it. Now, where's my last man's core? There we go. Get ready to engage. Unload. Do I have torpedoes? Next turn. So, armor's going down. Hopefully, Adamant can survive. It doesn't look likely, though. But on the plus side, it's actually taking damage on its armor a little bit. Alright, Adamant, keep going lower. Oh, and you have no fire control, too. That's why you're not shooting to begin with. So, I've been neglecting that some. Just a little bit, but keep on firing. Hopefully, keep on hitting it. Ooh, and torpedoes are ready to give him a miserable time. And I still have three salvos left to go, so you know this is going to hurt. Understood. This will be good. There goes his right armor. There's torpedoes right into the hall. I think it's safe to say that's game. Safe to say this is now game. I just got to keep doing that damage, because with my slower speed, it does leave me vulnerable to his... Uh, broadside weaponry if he even has any broadside weaponry because quite frankly I haven't been seeing him hit me so much so Understood. I think I'm maybe in the clear just keep that going lower it's probably not ideal but at least it keeps the top armor available so possibly I won't die never mind the damn vipers just ganked me this is almost over folks now it's time to disengage Get ready for another attack. I think that's the plan, especially with my armor almost gone. Understood. Yes, Commander. And also, oh, that doesn't really help in my turning any. That actually just helps with my speed. Oh well, might as well put that back on, so my defense range is up. So say we all. I would argue maybe I should just go full defensive then if I'm gonna disengage, but I think I'm in good shape regardless. Hell, I may even die with the adamant shots contributing. Although I didn't make it the focus, but that is game, folks. That was a scary fleet, but we had got some really, da really damn good use out of those manticores. I'm actually pleased with them. It remains to be seen how I could Im improve with them, mind you, but I'm really damn happy with them. And just so we can relish in the cinematic beauty of this, let's enjoy the replay, shall we? I'm not even going to try and control it there. I'm just going to watch and enjoy as we're looking at his fleet, clearly. Because I don't recall having a battle star in my fleet. And we did kill his manticore relatively early, so... The main lesson I learned from this was I can use my manticores to spot and not have to rely on my fighters so much. Unfortunately, my fighters got destroyed. Holy crap. How many fighters did he actually have? Was Because if that was seriously just three fighters, how the hell did they die so quickly, especially when one squad was upgraded? Technically, they're not really more durable, mind you, but they still are a better fighter squad or fighter squad in general, so I'm a little bit shocked. No, that's probably why he had he had, did have the Atlas, and I think the Battlestar actually has two fighter bays too. So he technically... He actually had four fighter waves and I destroyed at least one of them while heavily damaging another one I think is what happened as far as the fighter exchange never mind the fact that I was right next to my adamants and Man minotaur I keep wanting to call the manticore the poor minotaur because they sound so similar but there's torpedoes on his uh, poor M manticore there soften up nicely and we get the early kill as you recall from that poor thing but now, 
he launches his fighters, he decides to go all out, but now I'm just curious to see how this fighter wave battle goes, because maybe my my cannon shooting at those vipers aren't as effective as I would thought, because there's me running away with the manticore trying to get cover, even if it isn't much of cover with the point defense and him having four fighter waves. Ooh. But we're softening up the manticore nicely enough as is. And there's the firepower in action. Six artillery cans on top, six on the side shooting at the vipers, and we try to go in for the kill the manticore. All the while soften up that minotaur as much as we can too. Even though it is getting spread out, mind you, it is softening it up quite a bit since that's what his strategy is as far as the missiles. Thankfully he didn't have that many missiles to really soft me down the best because he was focusing really hard on that minotaur. It makes me wonder how I can shield it there because this isn't like Battlefleet Gothic where I can easily hide behind my f ships and still have them fire full efficiency. If I were to have the minotaur behind Adamant, since they were in close proximity, I think it's safe to say my mentor would be heavily limited in fire power. But I am going to have to try that too. And hell, I don't even recall. Did I kill the manticore? I'm guessing I did because my my own manticore is kind of disengaged at this point. Just unloading on the mentor and there's the torpedo salvo too, hitting the nice armor. I'm happy with that shot. Even though with my boost I did lose that. didn't get the full 10 shots I would have liked. But still... We're getting to the meat of it now, folks. Although, this is his damn fighters doing damage to me. Even if they are for shooting at other fighters, they're still chipping down my armor. Like I said, if I have lost this battle, it probably would be because of them alone. Because they can't be underestimated. They cannot be underestimated, but thankfully it's only the Minotaur that's shooting at me right now. Atlas is contributing some, so... I'm thankfully able to kill his Minotaur just before he kills mine. Ooh, hell, we even have different color designations. He's got blue and I'm red, so there's a nice easy way to tell who's who, folks. If you're ever confused, although the shading, the lighting's a little, still a little bit tricky sometimes to tell. I'm just going to go off of whether I see a Battlestar or Atlas next to his uh, Minotaur or not. And there's the flak right there, which does destroy fighters and it destroys uh, missiles, but I don't think it's as effective as it could have been as we trade blow for blow with the Minotaurs, but we got an amazing surround on this uh, Artemis. Even though he is getting full firepower on that thing, it's like I said before, he can't really get the full value of his artillery, I guess, on the top, and he can't easily flack my missiles and torpedoes that I'm shooting at him, especially on the rear that I did at one point there. Oh, speaking of which, there they are now. Don't quite hit the rear, but damn, do they do a lot of damage. And after, what, three, four turns of shooting him, we kill his biggest, most prized ship. So I'm really happy about that. What seemed so slow and dragged out suddenly became a slaughter once I managed to get the surround on them, which seems uh, controversial. It seems, uh, it doesn't seem like the optimal kind of play, I, you could think, considering how the armor mechanic works. But yeah, I think that is enough to watch there. We even have another minute left to go. So the entire match was about 6 minutes there, 5 minutes 30 seconds, but damn I'm happy about that. After that embarrassing first match, we managed to turn around a little bit. And thankfully, again, it was someone the same ranks as me, so at least I can say I wasn't going to get outclassed or outperformed. It was at least somewhat a fair fight. Thank you everyone for watching.